I've put all my factory components back on the truck. I want to ride around, experiment with that. That way it's fresh on my mind. I'm going to swap back to the full intake upgrade with the cold air inductions, cold air intake, and the jet performance, mass airflow sensor, and throttle body. I wanna make sure I get this right for you guys because this is a lot of money to put into your truck for a full intake upgrade. Now that I've been riding around for a week on the factory components, I immediately noticed that it was more sluggish. So I reinstalled all the upgrades on the truck and there's definitely a difference there and I feel a lot more comfortable now giving you my honest review on each individual product, whether or not you should go that route or a different route. I wanna let you guys know that these companies sent out these products for me to test and I am not sponsored, nor do I get paid by any of these companies for my review. I reached out to them because mainly I wanted to test these exact products. I chose the cold air inductions because of the design. The see-through air box was just a really nice feature and then the aluminum tubing instead of all that plastic that a lot of other guys use. And why would you switch out your mass airflow sensor? Well, that's exactly why I reached out because I wanted to know if that actually makes a difference because that guy's about two, $250 and I don't want you to waste your hard earned money on something that is just a little chip that doesn't even work. And the same goes for the throttle body. I wanna make sure you guys get my real feel for how that did because that's an expensive purchase. So with that being said, I'm gonna move over to my workbench and show you all a little demonstration on how I feel about each individual product. All right, so I have put together a chart of noticeability and let's go ahead and explore the elephant in the room. I do know that I write like a two-year-old, so please excuse my writing. The first upgrade that I installed was the cold air inductions, cold air intake. As far as the chart of noticeability, I gave it a three. There's definitely a difference there, and I just really love that I went with that cold air inductions because it has a nice premium look under the hood. There's a lot of other cold air intakes out there that are the same price, and you get all the plastic. Well, the factory box is all plastic. I wanna feel like for that money, I'm actually getting an upgrade, and I do recommend this cold air inductions, cold air intake. The number two performance upgrade was the Jet Performance Mass Airflow Sensor. And for this guy, I gave it a five on the chart. Now this was the biggest noticeable difference in my opinion during this whole full intake process. And I don't know whether it unlocked the full potential of the cold air inductions, cold air intake. Maybe that's why I noticed such a big difference. But I truly feel like this guy did make a difference. Number three on the list is the Jet Performance Throttle Body. So I ended up giving that a three on the chart. Now I was confused by that because I thought this would be more of an upgrade than the mass airflow sensor and I was wrong about that. I feel like this was the bigger upgrade. So what do I recommend going with on the noticeability factor? I think I would go with the mass airflow sensor and the cold air intake. Now I don't have any dyno numbers or anything like that. It might show differently. But this is just me, my real experience, and how I felt when I installed these products. Now, I do feel like everything added to it, but for this price point, it's just a little bit more than I, than I would wanna spend to get a little bit of a noticeable difference. But yes, I highly recommend these two guys. I feel like these products have helped out in the performance department, but how have they helped out in the miles per gallon? Well, the cold air inductions, when I first installed it, I did see an increase in miles per gallon. As far as the Jet Performance products, I did not really notice a difference. Number four on the chart is the Jet Performance Accelerator. Now, that's not really an intake upgrade, but I put it on here because all of these added, in my opinion, a little bit more throttle response. And that's exactly what this guy does and spoiler alert, I've actually installed this on the truck. I've been riding around with it for a couple of days and this chart 
in my first impressions does not go high enough for what this guy does. So make sure you tune back in. I'll definitely do a full review on that accelerator. And I appreciate y'all watching this. Make sure you tune back in for that. And until next time, we'll see y'all.